today, we're going to cover C major, G major, and D major. And they all have the same fingerings for both the right hand and the left hand. And we're going to look first at the one octave fingering, which you're probably already familiar with. But then we're also going to expand it out to a two octave fingering. So you can get some practice with that. So first, the one octave fingering for these three scales with the right hand is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And on the way back, it's five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And the left hand is just the reverse of that. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. But when we get into two octaves, what's going to happen with the right hand is when we are going towards our pinky, we're going to skip our pinky because you never cross over or under the pinky or with the pinky. So if you watch what's going to happen, when we get to that, this C, instead of hitting with our pinky, we're going to cross under with our thumb. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And when we go the other way, instead of crossing over and using our pinky, we're going to cross over and use our fourth finger. So we're going to go five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And then here it's four, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Now, left hand is going to be the opposite. So five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Now we're crossing with our fourth finger. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And coming back the other way. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Don't do the pinky. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Looking at the key of G, now we have F sharp. So we're going to do the same fingering. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Left hand, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Looking at D, it's the same idea, only we have F sharp and we have C sharp. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Coming back down, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Left hand. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Back down. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Two, one, two, three, four.
Okay, this is a chance for you to practice your C major scale a little bit, where you can play whatever patterns you want with a little bit of accompaniment. And I'm going to go ahead and play, and I'll say the chord changes as I play them for this particular version, so you can get to know them. One, two, three, four. We have C. Okay, now we're here in the key of G, and we're going to improvise within the G major scale. We go one, two, three, four. We have G to E minor. Now C up to D, and again G. This time to C to A minor. So here we go. One, two, three, four.